In a world torn apart by war and conflict, military powers constantly seek to gain an edge over their enemies. The latest development in the arms race is Abrams X, a heavy tank that has been deemed unstoppable by those who have seen it in action. Designed and built by a team of brilliant engineers and military strategists, Abrams X boasts a formidable array of weaponry and advanced technology that make it virtually impervious to attacks. Its impenetrable armor can withstand even the most powerful blasts, while its massive cannon can destroy enemy vehicles and fortifications with ease. As rumors of Abrams XS capabilities spread, nations around the world scramble to acquire this new weapon. But the United States, its creator, has kept a tight grip on the technology, using it to assert its dominance on the battlefield. As Abrams X enters the fray, a new era of warfare dawns, where power and precision collide in a deadly dance. But as with any powerful weapon, there are those who seek to control it for their own nefarious purposes, and the race to harness Abrams' excess potential threatens to escalate the already volatile situation. In recent years, General Dynamics Land Systems has been working with the U.S. Army to develop and deliver several new, high-tech variants of the Abrams tank such as the V-3 and V-4M1A2 SEP tanks. These new tanks incorporate several breakthrough technologies that are highly relevant to 21st-century armored warfare. Now, GDLS is trying to build upon these innovations with yet another, even more advanced, Abrams X variant. As a demonstrator unveiled at the 2022 Association of the United States Army Annual Symposium revealed, the Abrams X's new innovations are expected to greatly improve the heavily armored platform's tactical effectiveness. One of the largest and potentially most impactful innovations woven into the Abrams X may be its hybrid electric drive, a propulsion system capable of significantly enhancing fuel efficiency while improving survivability with lower acoustic and thermal signatures. General Dynamics weapons developers emphasized that, while hybrid propulsion can improve the vehicle's environmental impact, the reason for its existence is largely tactical. Not only will a hybrid system massively reduce the logistics footprint and increase fuel efficiency, but it will also increase survivability in a number of critical respects. A smaller, leaner logistical and resupply trail creates fewer targets for an enemy and keeps more soldiers away from enemy fire. Tactically, a hybrid system also enables silent watch, an ability to operate sensors and weapons without emitting an acoustic or thermal signature. This improves the vehicle's lethality and survivability and massively expands its operational envelope. These advantages are greatly maximized by third-generation forward-looking infrared sensor targeting systems which bring much longer range and high-resolution targeting to armored offensive attack operations. The third-generation FLIR would be incorporated into the Abrams X platform. That's a remarkable capability step above. Being a tanker, I would say that it would be noticeable what that capability is, that'll be certainly the best in the world, Tim Reese. Director of U.S. Business Development for General Dynamics Land Systems, told the national interest in an interview. Certainly, the V-3 and V-4 Abrams tanks, when all the upgrades are considered, are essentially entirely new vehicles when compared with the initial 1980s-era platform, as new sensors, weapons, data links, command and control, armor protections and onboard electrical power systems have all been completed revamped as though the platform were new. The emergence of the Abrams X, and the many innovations being weaved into the platform, is redefining the role of the Abrams tank and heavy armor in U.S. combat operations. Indeed, it appears that heavy platforms, while operating within certain limitations, can operate in coordination with robotic vehicles, unmanned systems, and faster and lighter attack platforms to provide firepower and heavy formation support to fast advancing units with unmatched lethality. But as the war raged on, a growing number of voices began to question the morality of using such a powerful weapon. Some argued that the Abrams X only served to escalate the conflict, causing more death and destruction than it prevented. Others feared that if the technology fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to wreak havoc on innocent civilians. Despite the concerns, the United States military remained steadfast in its use of the Abrams X, determined to show the world that it was the dominant force in the global arena. But as the tank continued to wreak havoc on the battlefield, the price of that dominance became increasingly apparent. In the end, it was a small group of soldiers who made the ultimate decision to disable the Abrams X, sacrificing themselves in the process.
As the tank lay in ruins, its once mighty weapons reduced to scrap, the world watched in disbelief. The era of the unstoppable heavy tank had come to an end, but the scars it left behind would linger for generations.